did you know that you can pursue your dream research course in top research institutes in India, such as IIC Bangalore, ISER, NICER, ISI, CMI, ISES, Kolkata, while funding your studies by yourself? Yes, it is true. And in this video, exactly this is what I'm going to show you that what are the scholarships that you can avail for yourself so that you can fund your studies, research, and do lots more things. This is uh, Swami Prakash, alumnus of Nizer Bhuvneshwar. And in this video, we are going to discuss about top scholarships for science students. So stay tuned till the end because the list of the scholarships might surprise you. And I guarantee that uh, many of these scholarships you did not know about. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let's see that uh, what are these opportunities, true? So if you pursue BS, BSc, integrated BSMS degree in top research institutes, such as IC Bangalore, ISER, SNICER, then sometimes you have an opportunity to get financial aid for your studies. One very such popular scholarship is INSPIRE, right? So in addition to the monthly or yearly stipends, you also get contingency grants, okay, to cover your academic expenses. So what do I mean by contingency is that it's a one-time uh, amount you receive in a year, right, to fund your research resources such as during your internships, projects, all right, or including travel expenses as well. So that is uh, the purpose of your contingency or mentorship grants, right? So apart from the general scholarship that, that we are going to discuss, institutes like NISER, ISI, CMI, they provide their own scholarships, okay? And they are very reputed and very helpful during your studies. For example, NISER has its own Disha Fellowship. It is very popular and we are going to discuss more about this. And uh, you also have CMI and ISI Fellowships. Now let's see what are the scholarships. So starting with the INSPIRE, very reputed given by Department of Science and Technology. So more than 12,000 scholarships are given if you are meritorious, okay, every year. And uh, the eligibility is you need to be in top 1% in your class 12 boards. Any boards, state boards, CBSC, doesn't matter. You need to have a rank under 10K in JEE or NEET. And you should be pursuing your uh, undergraduation in basic or natural sciences across any of the top research institutes, such as ISER, ISC, Bangalore, NISER, or any other, right? So the amount is 60,000 rupees per annum, plus a mentorship grant of, or a contingency grant of 20,000 rupees per annum that is given to you, right? The second one is, Disha scholarship given by Department of Atomic Energy for the students of NICER and CEBS Mumbai, right? You don't have to do anything, just get admission in NICER, right? Uh, NICER five-year integrated MSc program and you are eligible for the scholarships and you start getting the money, which is 60,000 rupees per annum as well here, similar to SPIRE and a contingency grant of rupees 20,000 per annum, which is similar to Inspire Scholarship, right? It's again very reputed and you can fund this for your research uh, resources, academics and other things as well. The next up is CMI Fellowship. So you just have to be enrolled to CMI, BS Honors Program in Mathematics, Computer Science or Physics through the entrance exam or Olympiad. So based on your performance, you are given the scholarship. So uh, the main thing is you need to be in the top 30 to 35 uh, candidates, okay, uh, in the uh, entrance examination and you receive a full tuition fee waiver and like depending on your performance, a monthly stipend of 5,000 rupees. Okay, that's again a huge thing. So there is a need based scholarship as well. So you get 100% tuition fee waiver. If your family income is less than 8 lakh rupees per year, if it is less than 12 lakh rupees per year, you get 50% wave uh, on your tuition fees. Next up is ISI fellowship. So again, like you to all the non-sponsored students, which means that you are funding your education by yourself and uh, research fellows accept PG diploma. So that's uh, when you are eligible for this fellowship and you need to maintain some uh, threshold of grade point in your academic progress. Attendance should be greater than 75% and this is the case for all. So Inspire also like uh, demands you to maintain a grade point of a uh, certain level throughout your 
academics and similarly disha also requires you to maintain that grade point it, it's of 6 or 6.5 right uh, so students receiving government scholarships are not eligible okay so the amount is if you are a b stat honors or b math student you get 3000 rupees per month plus a mentorship grant of rupees 3000 per year now let's uh, see some general scholarships depending on uh, merit plus need right so you have sdfc banks parivartan educational crisis scholarship support uh, so you're pursuing any of the courses from diploma iti polytechnic ug pg and uh, you have at least 55 percent marks in your uh, qualifying examination plus your annual family income is not more than 25 lakh rupees then you get an amount from 30000 rupees to 75000 rupees depending on your need and uh, your financial crisis okay next up is again very reputed mark india charitable trust so this is uh, an initiative of mark foundation so this supports students from class 10th to graduation right the eligibility is 80% in class 10th and you should be living in a city or you should be belonging from Mumbai, Bangalore, Navi Mumbai or Thane. Okay, so if your family income is less than or equal to 20,000 rupees per month, then you are eligible for this. The amount is 41,000 rupees per annum. Okay, again, uh, very helpful. You have PG Indira Gandhi scholarship for single girl child. Okay, and uh, again, like you should be in a first year of a full time PG course. Okay, uh, in any of the uh, courses. So not applicable for distance education, age must be less than 30 and the amount is uh, 36,200 rupees per annum. Okay, next up is again, as the name suggests, Kota Kanya scholarship, Kanya means girl. So if you are a girl child and you have financial crisis in your family, so, and of course you have to be meritorious. So uh, that's when you get 1.5 lakh rupees per year. Okay, huge amount till you complete your education. So you're only eligible if you have more than 75% in your class 12th, plus your family income is less than 6 lakh rupees per year. So this is the case for many of the students. Okay. But again, you have to be only a girl student, right? You should be in a first year of any of the reputed institute. And uh, if your parents work for Kotak Mahindra Group or Kotak Education, then you're not eligible. But otherwise, you are eligible if you have more than 75% and uh, your family income is less than 6 lakhs rupees. Okay, so this can be very, very helpful for students who are actually in the need of uh, some sort of funding or money to uh, pursue their education and degrees, right? Next up is Dhirubhai Ambani Scholarship Program. Of course, uh, as the name suggests, Initiative of Reliance Foundation. The amount is 41,000 rupees per annum here also, but you must be in a class 12th merit list from any board. You need to be enrolled in any degree, age between 20 to 30, at least uh, below 20, right? And family income must be under 4.5 lakhs rupees. So you are meritorious, you have financial uh, problems in your family. So if your family income is less than 2.5 lakh rupees, then you will be preferred for this scholarship. Plus you also get this, if you are specially abled, you have some sort of disability, um, then irrespective of your finances or your family income, you are eligible for this program. So these are some of the scholarships that I just wanted to discuss in this video. I hope that this has been useful for you and many of you will be applying to these scholarships. I hope if you are in need of these, but Desha, Inspire, ISI, CMI are anyways can be leveraged, okay, if you dream to pursue uh, a research career, okay, that too from a top research institute across uh, the country. But definitely let me know in the comments below if you know uh, about any of these scholarships beyond this list and uh, how many of these scholarships you did not know about before watching this video, okay. But if you like this video, uh, definitely subscribe to Syastra English put a like and uh, if you're preparing for IAT NEST to pursue your career from ISER and ISER, for example, NEST nearly uh, here, it's scheduled on 22nd June, right? So if you're uh, solving PYQs, preparing for NEST, you can check out the courses that we have, crash courses, mock test series, right? For NEST, it can propel your uh, preparation. And definitely if you get selected at NISER, then uh, many congratulations later on. But uh, till then, see you in the next video, all the best. Mm -hmm.